Hey guys, doing a quick one in the field. Uh, this is actually post diagnosis and repair. 2003 uh, GMC Safari all wheel drive. It's got a 4.3 liter V6. And the issue here the check engine light was on, and the one code stored was P0016 crankshaft camshaft correlation okay now to get some info on this code we can go to our troubleshooter or guided component tests well, actually the troubleshooter so let's go there troubleshooter engine code tips P0016 and we see here the code sets uh, key on engine run the cam sensor pulse is not detected at the correct relative position to the crankshaft position sensor pulse and this uh, that's just the wiring diagram so the following conditions may set this code loose or missing distributor hold down bolt a loose camshaft position sensor causing a variance in the sensor signal an incorrectly installed distributor one tooth off in either advanced or retard positions a loose distributor rotor on the distributor shaft so all these things can cause this code excessive free play in the timing chain and gear assembly so okay a lot of uh, potential causes so first thing I did now again, this is a uh, saved data. I actually diagnosed this van yesterday. Today we're just doing the known good, you know, after repair confirmation. But I hooked up the cam and crank signals, uh, two channels on the scope here. So yellow trace is camshaft position sensor. Green trace is crankshaft. Now again, it would be nice to have a known good, you know, uh, waveform for this. But here's what I got with the original distributor as it was you know when I first got there so this transition for the camshaft is occurring during a high period on the crank okay like right right in the middle and uh, there's actually in the scan data there's a data pit that shows the cam retard in degrees uh, versus the crank so let's look at that and kind of uh, correlate that number with our scope pattern. So under data display, we go to our sensor data. And I already have it customized. You can see all the things available here. So we're just picking cam retard degrees. Okay, list view. Graphing it. Now to update this PID, we actually need to run the engine over a thousand RPMs. So I'm going to start it up. We'll see the uh, the data change. You we'll see it's at zero right now. I push the, the gas pedal, and it updates. You we'll see it said minus five right there. So this is a great direction. Before the fix. This number was negative 27. Okay, that's you know it's a huge offset. Ideally, it should be at right around zero. And I don't know what the tolerance is for the computer to set that 16 code, but you know it must be like plus or minus 10 degrees, something like that. Uh, but anyways, you can see right now we're at minus five, and it's not setting the check engine light. So, uh, what is what does this mean? Well, if we're looking at this PID and we're playing around with the, uh, the throttle, if there's any slop in that cam chain, we would see this number bounce around. Depends on how much slop there is. Now, uh, I didn't see that, so at first I assumed we were a tooth off on, you know, on the distributor because uh, the guy just bought this van you know, a few months ago, the check engine light's always been on, so who knows what the history is. So uh, what we did, quick and dirty, is took the distributor out a little bit, 
and rotated the, the rotor one tooth advanced. And I'll show you what happened then. So when I rotated the tooth, you know, one tooth advanced on the distributor, here's what we got. Open up the scope file. All right, check this out. So before, that transition was occurring right about in the middle of that uh, high point in the crank sensor, okay? Now, after shifting the distributor one tooth forward, this is what we got. You see, now the transition of the cam is occurring in the middle of the low portion of the crank signal. And the interesting thing was that data PID, the cam retard PID, went to plus 27. Okay, positive 27. So one tooth was more than 50 degrees difference. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. Did I miss, you know, miss a tooth? So I played around with it, but we couldn't get it to zeros, either minus 27 or plus 27. So at that point, I decided to take the distributor out completely and count the number of teeth on it just to see how many degrees one tooth should be. And here's the old distributor. So count the teeth. Start right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They get that right? About 13 teeth. But look at the teeth. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it seems like half the tooth is missing. It's chewed off. <laughs> Looks like a shark fin. I mean, that was pretty crazy. It's supposed to be a nice square edge, but that sucker is uh, like a razor blade. And then I put the distributor back in and kind of felt for free play of the rotor and it was moving about that much, which is apparently about 20 degrees on this cam retard data pit. So visual inspection there and just, you know, feeling around for the play uh, confirmed the problem. It was a worn distributor gear. You know, 184,000 miles here, so that's not, not too surprising and there's a whole bunch of play in the bushings. So uh, my call was then, just get a whole new distributor, pop it in, and then we'll recheck the, the cam retard and do the scope waveform again, so I want to know good. So I'll get you that next. Okay, so with the new distributor in there, bolted down, we're at minus five degrees. And that hold down bolt, there isn't much room for adjustment right there. But, you know, I went from like minus eight to minus five, or minus 12 to minus five, so it's as good as it can get right now. Um, you can always, I guess, tweak the little plate there and whatnot, but this is good enough for not setting the code and making the computer happy. Uh, so let's get a waveform, known good waveform, you know, at minus, whatever, minus five degrees retard. So this is our waveform right now. You can see how the transition of the cam is real close to the transition of the crank now. Okay, so before we are in the middle at minus 27 degrees, and now we advanced it by replacing the distributor, so those, there's no more backlash in those gears. Now we're almost, you know, in sync with that crankshaft transition. Now I, I don't know if we get to zero, should these line up perfectly? Uh, I guess we could calculate that, but you know, I saved this waveform, so that's a, that's a known good or close enough to known good. So I guess uh, I guess that's it.
worn distributor gear causing a P0016 on a GM 4.3 liter V6. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for more. I'll catch you guys next time.